There are some patients who have very significant differences between their eyes. One eye has a very significant cataract, very dense, the other eye doesn't have much. Well, we know, for example, both eyes are exactly the same age. But when one cataract is far in advance of the other, we have to assume that at some point in time, there was an injury to the eye with the cataract. You may not remember the injury. It might have happened when you were two years old or 10 years old. A lot of these things don't really come easily when we try to go back in our memories. But regardless, the fact that there's a very asymmetric cataract does bring up the possibility, very strong possibility, that there was an injury. What does this mean? Well, when the eye has an injury, the actual lens of the eye, which has become the cataract, is held in place by 4,000 microscopic little hairs. These hold your cataract or your lens in place just like a trampoline is held in place by springs to a framework. When these little hairs are damaged, sometimes they'll break, sometimes they're weakened. And what happens is, during cataract surgery, if there's a significant loss of these fibers, the cataract can actually tumble into the back of the eye. Now, this is extremely rare. I've actually never had it happen with a traumatic cataract, and I've done hundreds of them. But at the same time, you need to be aware of that rare possibility. We'll take every precaution to make sure that doesn't happen. If it does fall into the back of the eye, we have special surgeons called vitreoretinal surgeons, and it's their job with special instrumentation to go into the back of the eye when this does occur. So it's very infrequent, but it can occur. In addition, when you've had an injury to the eye years ago, it's almost like creating the game of dominoes where the dominoes start to fall over. It might take a long, long time. Your injury might have been 30, 40 years ago. We see it all the time where somebody remembers getting hit in the eye with a baseball and 40 years later, 30 years later, they have a cataract in that eye only. Well, when that happens, you can imagine what happens when your eye does get hit. It compresses and then it expands a little bit. Imagine under slow motion how that might look. When that happens, the retina and the vitreous, which is like liquid egg white right inside the eye, they will actually squish together. And when they pull apart, certain processes can begin that will allow damage down the road. Well, it doesn't happen right away, just as the cataract didn't happen right away. So you can have different things go wrong with a traumatic eye, not just the cataract, but problems in the retina. It may have torn the retina. We might not be able to see the torn retina when you first come to us because the cataract might be obscuring our view. If that happens, it's something else that needs to be dealt with later on. So we do know that things can happen when you have a traumatic cataract.